Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. Back it around up. What are your horses' names? This is Finn. On he's, the right? He's a three-year-old gelding. And this is Haley, she's a six-year-old. Are they related? They are, a half-brother and sister. I raised them both. both okay. I bought them as weanlings. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Yep. Say, Haley, stop. What kinds of things do you do with your horses? Um, uh, at home, we do wagons and sleighs. Uh, we just started that when the three-year-olds got old enough to go to work, pretty much. So, um, uh, I have a sleigh trails on my property. And Were so, you working with different breeds of horses before the Brabant? I had a, I had a North American spotted draft horse. Uh -huh. Okay. And so I liked him, and I wanted a teammate for him, and I couldn't find anything. So then I bought this mare as a weanling, and I liked her temperament so much that. I told the fella um, I'd like a couple more. So I have four Brabants now. I have a Percheron and I have a North American Spotted Rat. What do you like about the Brabants? I like their temperament. Uh -huh. I like their build, and but their temperament is, is, is the key for me. Willing, they like to work. Calm. They're calm. And you don't get there fast, but you get there. What are you gonna do today, you know? Little everything, I'm guessing, is what he's telling me anyway. I'm going to be on the cultimulter. I'm going to be on the wagon right there. And hopefully I get to work in the woods a little bit. He mentioned logging, and I thought, yeah, we can do this. Sure. That'd be great. These two have been in the woods already. They've been used a little bit this year. Not a whole lot. Uh, not as much as I'd like, but it's getting better. It, 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 they're, it's hard to have time. Right. Uh, we did... Um, we did a, uh, a ride around for nursing home in Surring. We did a ride, uh, a circuit ride for uh, National Night Out. Okay, sure. Okay. Yep. Yep. It was the first thing, and the police chief invited me to do it. That's great. Okay, because he's those got are, he's those got are two really too. good causes. And um, then the uh, uh, Labor Day parade we did. That was their first parade. They've never been in a parade before, and they did marvelous. Just awesome. And there was um, breakfast on a farm oh, okay. in O'Connell County. Okay. And uh, that was awesome, too. That you was hauled people farm. into the uh -huh. farm from, it, from yep. the parking? Uh -huh. Yep. Nice. That was a good time. Yeah, I bet there's, they like that. There's about, that O'Connell County draws about four, four and a half thousand people. <laughs> yeah, it's a big one. And they put on a, they put on a big, pretty big feed. To check them out, see how they operated. And so you're looking at, um, you got brood mares then? I have a couple brood mares, yes. About maybe breeding them. Breeding mares, yeah, my Percheron mares. Yes. What, uh, what attracts you to the Brabants? Uh, their size, their temperament. Oh. I was up there yesterday plowing, trying that new plow, that white horse plow. And holy, I told. Jason, I said, you need to sell or go somewhere else. This place is rocky. He just laughs at me. But that'd be the plow to use, I guess. It's I've um, never used a newer model like that. Mine's are international, older model plow, and that one runs a lot smoother, that's for sure. But I don't have the rocks at home either, so. Here's my new invention. I have never tried it. Today will be the maiden voyage. I bought this forged stone boat front. It says Chaska, Minnesota on it from the foundry. And I got me a little piece of steel on it. And that's going to be for one horse skidding, trying to keep the front of the log out of the ground. 
put the suck the butt up on the thing with the slip hook. Once she's got it sucked up on, stop your horse, move her back, hook her tight again. When you're going back in the woods empty, you can jump on and ride. At least that's. Haven't tried. Today will be the maiden voyage. Yeah, sometimes you just got to go for it, right? Okay, girl. Yeah, I paid it. somebody else like you do it. I probably turn away a good job every three weeks. Really? And I got work for years ahead of me. What's that? Because of the low impact of the horses? In yeah. The well, it always comes down to the manager, the person doing it. Yeah. You can make a mess with horses, and you can do a pretty good job with some machines. Mm -hmm. But it always, it always comes down to the person. But it is, the low impact. Also, I give a lot of control to the landowner. If he wants to hire me for 20 trees, to come in and cut 20 trees and move all my stuff there for 20 trees, I submit him a bid. Well, big guys, they ain't even going to come mess with me. I'm going to put another one down so you got enough work. I don't want you to get bored. There's your first two customers. more. G. Oh, easy girl. A little bit, Hannah. Ooh, girl. I think it might work, boys. It's going up on there. Back, Hannah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Hannah. Okay, Hannah. You're okay, girl. Well, look at that, boys. It works. You're all right, Hannah. Take it easy. Okay, girl. If you're watching Rural Heritage on RFD TV, you probably come. Come here, Maya. Come up here. Your dad say okay? Yeah, well, fine. Come on up here. Get up here. Step on my foot. You ain't gonna hurt me. Okay. We got one hand on each side of that brake. Okay? Yeah. Can you say okay, team, real loud? Yeah. Then say it real loud. Okay, team. Okay, team. Then give a clap. Okay, team. Give them a little more. They got to drive. There you go, girl. 
I feel their mouth. Okay. You got them. Pull Eve a little harder. Pull this a little harder. Let up, let up on that one because we want to turn that way a little bit. Okay. A little bit more. Team. Now, when we get past him, we're going to turn right next to the wood pile, okay? Yeah. Okay. Now pull that side. Pull that side and let Eve out. Pull on Billings. Pull on him a little harder. There you go. You got this? Yeah. Drive him right beside the wood pile. Tell him, whoa. Oh. Whoa.
We put up hay, corn silage, we thrash beans, we thrash oats. You thrash the oats and the beans with horses? We use a, a thrashing machine. Okay, all right, so you bind them and bring them in? Yes. Do you? Okay. Yes. We have a, a, what, a seven foot grain binder and uh, a McCormick corn binder. It sounds like you're making a go of it and you've been doing it for a long time. Yeah, we have. Wow. We've I mean, been... you're making a living at it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And you haven't gone big? So. No, I was always scared to go big because when we went to the meetings and they said, get bigger or get out. Yeah. And I looked at the man's hands okay. and he didn't have any calluses. <laughs> so I assumed he had something to sell me that wasn't going to do me any good. It was going to do him good. Honestly, yeah. I have never seen a farm get bigger and stay in business. The only one was in business was the banker. Right. And he was out playing golf at 10 o'clock in the morning and he was home by two o'clock in the afternoon and the farmer was out there long for daylight and long after the sun set. And he wasn't making any more and he just stayed a size he could handle without <laughs> the debt. Yep. It was that simple. Okay. And what did I say it, Jacob? If you can't uh, pay cash for it, it's probably something you don't need. Yeah. <laughs> it's that simple. You can do without it. You got there without it. Right. You'll do just fine. How do you like this plow? I like it. There's things that I would change. But I'm not sure uh, the changes will come real quick. You said you got a John Deere two-way that you use at home. Is that you that said that? Yeah. 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 You got a John Deere two-way that you use at home. That's yeah. an older plow. Yeah. Uh -huh. You like that plow pretty well? I like it real well. Yeah. But I can't be judgmental because I always get set in my ways, and I'm I have a hard time with new things. Sure. And so, this might be the plow for a young man. It's... Does it pull a little hard? Yes. Yeah. I make my own shears. Yeah. And I hammer them so there's a little suction to the land and a little suction down. Uh-huh. And I... The shape of the plow, just a little bit of change, makes a great amount of difference. Sure. If you make drastic changes and drastic then you're going, you know, it's like bracketing in artillery. You're not right. hitting the target. Right. <laughs> and, and basically, I, I'm nothing against this plow, but I think we've bracketed it, it in a little too far the other way. Uh -huh. we'll From like my experience with yeah. horse-drawn equipment, the older equipment is not only made for lighter work horses, right. not heavy draft horses, right. they're also made for lighter people. Uh-huh, right. Yeah, you're right. I put a heavy man on my cultivator, and it wasn't long he had the frame all bent up. I did not realize how much weight that man had in the seat. No, the, the equipment was made for smaller, lighter people, and the equipment was made for work Horses, not draft horses. Right, right. Crossbreds. Crossbreds, yep. whatever. Right. But this here, the main thing wrong here, and it's not wrong, it just needs to be improved. This bottom is for a tractor. A tractor has a throttle, and it has weight, and it has, it braces, and it can just plow that plow where it belongs. But this isn't a tractor. That plow has to be shaped and hammered and fit so that it will plow by itself without these wheels and without anything so but just the hitch. It where it wants to be. Yes, it should just go along when you're plowing by the right point that you hitch to. Then it will pull easier. If that plow was closer to these wheels, 
You see, when the soil's pushing on that plow that way, it's pushing on that tongue it's that working. way. So the horses are having to pull that. If that plow was closer, the moment arm wouldn't have so much leverage. Do you feel that when you're plowing? Do I you can feel, feel that it in your body. You I can feel, feel yeah. this plow whenever I hit something solid. Why I can feel it Twist. swinging. Mm -hmm. It's pushing uh, into the land, and when it and when I'm not plowing much, it's coming away from the land because there is no suction. But that is, uh, but that plow, you can see the distance from here to there is a tremendous right. amount of leverage. Right. Right. And the old plows, that was right here. It was underneath you. I could look down and I could see the point right there. Right. Yeah. It was stable. Right. That's a really good point. Mm -hmm. But I see, I see nothing wrong with this. You know, if I was a young feller and uh, I wasn't set in my ways, <laughs> I'd have a green and yellow plow. But I'm set in my ways, and I like my old plows, and they don't make them anymore. Well, but when they did, they were green and yellow, weren't they? Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were green and yellow, and they were good plows. Yeah. <laughs> they were good, and they did work. Yeah. This program is available for purchase. To order your copy, please call 319-362-3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of back-to-the-land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information. Or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.